Good evening all. Welcome to the post-match press conference of Kuwait Usaab Championship 2021, match number three, Bangladesh versus India. Joining with me now is the head coach of India, Mr. Igo. First, I will open the floor for the head coach and then to the media. Coach. Yeah, I would like to congratulate both teams. I think this was, for now, the best, the best game of football, which we see last few games. Uh, and we are the only guilty party for not winning today. We had everything controlled, we dominated the game, we had one nil, we had one player more. And then we started for some unknown reason giving away simple passes, uh, making unnecessary mistakes and that's how it finishes. When you boost the confidence of the opponent, you give them the chance, they will take it. So we were punished today for not being reasonable in certain situations, for not being and using experience, because this was experience in your team today. I expected much more in that sense, because too many times with, without any reason we gave the ball a very simple pass and that caused us some nervousness, unnecessary nervousness, which is difficult to explain, because when you're not pressed by anyone, when you don't have and you don't feel any kind of pressure why to give the ball away, I don't understand that we need to work on that more. It seems. So, but anyway, it was a good game of football. Congratulations to Bangladesh team. They came back and it is what it is. We need to look now forward. We don't have much of a time to analyze this, what is behind us. We need to look forward. Coach, was it a factor that Bangladesh played a game before India played because they were a bit of in a form? I didn't hear you well, sorry. Was it a factor that of this, this result that Bangladesh of the played a game before India in this tournament? Uh, affect to who? This result. Bangladesh no, was... I mean, everyone needs to play four games. So you need to get as many points as possible and then you will see. If you think like that and calculate every game, so... There is, we have another three games which we need to play well. I need to say our boys played for uh, more than 75 minutes really good football. Progressive football, reasonable, passing well, coming to, to dangerous positions and all that. But 15 minutes, it's too much of a time not being organized and giving away too many balls and making too many mistakes, you know. So we need to work on that and we'll be okay. Coach, uh, you, all, you already said that uh, Indian players were a bit of nervous and they made Sorry? it. Sorry? Indian players were a bit of nervous and played a lot of missed passes. But they are uh, uh, much superior than Bangladesh. Then uh, why uh, the boys are nervous in playing against Bangladesh? No, I, I said that they uh, became nervous after making simple mistakes. You know, after giving for no reason Bangladesh chance to counter-attack from simple situations when there was no danger whatsoever. I could say that uh, we could pass the ball in the back four all day and nobody would attack us, you know. And for me, uh, uh, as a coach from the line, it's easy to see you don't have reason to lose the ball. Wait on the opposition to come out to attack you, take them out of their position and then pass. That's, that's a, a reasonable thing to do. but. Of course, it's difficult at this level to expect that uh, passing accuracy will be 100%, but also, as a coach, I need to expect better passing than this, better passing, you know. This was too many mistakes in such a short time, which killed our confidence and boost the confidence of Bangladesh. Coach, uh, you played three matches against Bangladesh, only one match you won. Any frustrations with not winning in, against Bangladesh? But there is another way to look at it. We didn't lose any. In all three games, we were much better side. You know, the Bangladesh, they were the closest in, in South Lake Stadium with the chances they had, you know. In, in, in Doha, you didn't have shot on goal. It could have finished 6-7-0. Uh, today, also, we had enough chances to kill the game before the end. If you don't do that, then you give the chance to the opponent. So, uh, results, you, you are saying, well, we, we are supposed to win games like this, but this is football. It's not possible to win every game. Never mind that the, the opposition is lower than the team. You need to deserve it. You need to play throughout 90 minutes. You need to kill the game when the time comes. One deal is not enough. But 
Uh, it, last two months ago, we were in against Bangladesh, we complacently win in Qatar 2 0. But yesterday, you said that Bangladesh is a new coach, a new tactics been implemented. Actually, how much do you do, uh, do a difference you find out? Because that team and this team of Bangladesh are good as much. Uh, my, job, my job is to analyze Indian team, not to think too much about Bangladesh team. But, you know, thank you. But it's also a duty to uh, analyze the uh, team. I need to watch the game. It's difficult to say from this point of view. You know, they they played very similar to what was before, defending four one four one, uh, staying in compact blocks, uh, opening the sides, and defending for their lives. And when they get the ball, when they get the second ball, they try to get in counter attack. So nothing changed in regards to Bangladesh game as far as I'm concerned, but don't get me wrong, I need to watch the game tonight and then give you more opinion on that. Yeah, also they had a great support from the stands. You could see that, that uh, passionate supporters brought them back to life. You know, they were pushing them for more, for more, for more. So it was, anyway, it was a good game. Interesting. Yeah, coach, uh, you already mentioned the last 15 minutes uh, India can't play according to their plan. So, do you think that uh, eventually it is a uh, fair school line? No, it's not last 15 minutes. That's not what I said. I said that India played all together 75 minutes really good, but all yes. together 15 minutes losing somehow patience, losing, losing uh, balance in the team, you know. So, um, this could be three minutes in the first 30 minutes, five minutes in the second 30 minutes, and 10 minutes, I don't know, last 30 minutes. But uh, all together, that's what I said, not last 15. Last 10 minutes we were pressing, we were coming on the sides, we have more than 15 crosses, but we didn't get in on these crosses in a, in a good way, you know. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, we said uh, regarding Grand Alliance and Silonga penalty, it was funny, but it's okay, it's our comments. Uh, what do you think about today's representation? Uh, one Grand Alliance player had heard, first two comments on it. Uh, it was obvious. Uh, obvious. The player running with the ball to go clear 100% chance, you know. It's two red cards, no one. Maybe even three days in jail. <laughs> <laughs> but there was also penalty in the first half, handball after the cross, which referee didn't give. So some some strange decisions also today, favorable to someone. Yeah.